Greetings, my name is Stephen Feuerstein here with a PL SQL quick tip in which I discuss passing parameters by value and passing them by reference. Let's take a look at some code. When I talk about passing by reference or passing by value, I'm talking about passing a value from a, a program or block into a procedure or function. So it's parameter passing. Now, when we talk about parameters and passing values, we need to dif differentiate between the formal parameter defined in the procedures parameter list and the actual value that's declared and passed in to that parameter list when the subprogram is called. So these are actuals and these are formals. Now, what it means to be passed by reference is that inside the subprogram, for example, my by reference proc, any references to the parameter value refer directly to the actual thing that was passed in. So it refers essentially to the storage area for that variable. So all in parameters are always passed by reference. We refer directly back to the, the uh, actual value that was passed in. Let's take a look at my by value proc. If I pass a parameter as in out or out, by default, the behavior is that they are passed by value and not by reference. Now, when I've got an in-out parameter or an out parameter, what that means is that I can change the values of these parameters inside my subprogram. So the question is, what relationship does changing the value here have to the actual value being passed in? And what it means to pass by value is that inside the subprogram, when I make a change to a parameter, for example, the by value in-out, I'm not actually changing the value directly of the calling argument or the value passed in, the actual passed in to the subprogram. That would be referencing it directly. I'm not referencing the variable directly. I'm referencing it essentially indirectly by value. And what that means is that when this procedure is called, the PLSQL runtime engine makes a local copy of all the in-out parameters and the out parameters. All the changes are made to the local copies. And then if my procedure doesn't terminate with an exception, if it terminates successfully, then the actual values that are passed in, the actual variables, have their values changed. So there's a copy in and a copy out process. If my program terminates with an unhandled exception, and you can see I'm going to do that, if by value is greater than 200, I'll raise an exception, display a message, and then re-raise. In that case, the changes made inside the subprogram are never copied back onto the actuals passed in. The values remain unchanged. Whoops. OK, so let's try it out. Let's run these two programs and take a look at the results. So first of all, I'm going to call my by value proc and pass in my in out parameter and my out parameter. Whoops, sorry, I'm not calling my by reference proc. There's no reason to. It simply references any in parameters and it displays them or does whatever you want with them, read only. But my va by value proc has some interesting aspects to look at. So I run my first block, and it shows me that the out value for in out is 200, and the out value for out is 100. I passed in 100. It was doubled. It wasn't greater than 200, so no exception was raised. And therefore, the 200 was copied back out to in out. The out parameter's value going in was 200, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Inside a subprogram, an out parameter is initialized to null all the time. It is given a value of 100, no exception raised, and the value is set to 100. Now let's take a look at our second block. In this case, I'm setting my in out argument value to 1,000 and my out to a 200. I run my script this time, and I see very different results. So first of all, an exception did occur. Let's go back up the code. 1,000 was doubled to 2,000. 2,000 is definitely bigger than 200. Exception was raised, message displayed, and then the exception was re-raised, so the subprogram terminated with an error. And that means that my doubling of in out did not hold. It was not copied back out. And my change value for my out from 200 to 100 did not hold either. So the changes were reversed. When I pass by a value with in out or out, the values are copied in, but not copied out if an exception occurs. So let's review the takeaways for passing by, by value and passing by reference. First of all, in arguments are always passed by reference. They're read only. You refer directly to the value that was passed in. Out and in out arguments are by default 
passed by value. And what that means is that the PLSQL runtime engine work will copy in the values of in out arguments, the processing will take place, and then if the subprogram ends successfully, no unhandled exception, then the values of the out and in out arguments will be copied back out to the variables that were passed to the subprogram when executed. But wait, what if you don't want to do that copying? What if you're worried about memory, performance, etc.? Well, then you can consider using the no copy parameter hint to avoid copying, and that is the subject of a different video. So some resources as follow-up. First of all, do check out my quick tip video, Use No Copy to Improve Performance, but this is a good video to have watched first. Next, check out the Pass by Val Ref script in my demo zip download, and you can run the exact same steps that I did in this video. And you can get my demo zip by visiting the Oracle PLSQL Learning Library at oracle.com slash OLL slash PLSQL and clicking on the demo zip link. Thanks very much for joining me and happy PL SQL coding.